All right, guys, just a quick video. I am making Noreen's pineapple jam today, and so I thought I would just turn on the camera. I wasn't going to, um, even though I did want to vlog this for you guys. Um, I'm kind of on a time crunch with all the things I've got going on in the house, so, but I wanted to get this made. I've been wanting to make it for the past uh, two days now. Um, so what you're gonna need is a measuring cup, a big one. You're gonna need two, um, 20 ounce cans of pineapple juice and you're going to need the pineapple juice plus water enough to make six and a half cups okay so let's see what we have here let me grab a spoon here let's see what we have that's about two cups. Let's open up another one. Now I bought um, the Dole in 100% pineapple juice. I didn't get it in syrup. So that there is about four and a half cups. So I'm going to go ahead and dump this in my bowl here, which I'll just bring to you just to make it easier. And then I'm going to need two cups of water. I'm not going to rinse this out of water. Now her recipe calls for two boxes of pectin. Um, they now sell pectin in the bulk. And if you look on the back, one old box equals six tablespoons of the bulk size. So, oh. tablespoons. And we're just going to, hope you can see that, spread it right over. There's one. And then I always do a little pinch. It's brought me luck, so I, I got to do it. <laughs> All right, so let me get this over on the stove and we are gonna go ahead and bring this to a boil. When I bring it to a boil, I will bring you back because that's when we're gonna add the sugar. Okay, and don't forget your little pat of butter. It's about a tablespoon, maybe a little under, but that's gonna help with foaming. I'm going to go ahead and leave you a link to down below to Noreen's video and she has won two awards at her state fair for this and it is my husband's favorite jam. Um, in fact, I ran out when I was early in my pregnancy and he's been bugging me ever since to make more <laughs> and so I have two larger jars in my um, in my canner for him as a gift for him tonight. He'll be very excited. So I'm just gonna go ahead and let this boil. Mina lost her binky, so I'm gonna go give it to her and I will be back once this is boiling. All right guys, so we are at a boil that you cannot stir down anymore. So now, it is time to add our sugar. And we're gonna be adding six cups of sugar to this. Okay. Don't add that okay. All right, now I'm gonna stir in this sugar and I'm gonna wait for this to come back to a boil. And when it does, when it comes back to a boil that you can't stir down, we're gonna time this for one minute to set our pectin. And then it will be time to can this goodness up. All right, guys, so we are back. And we are just about there. With not being able to stir down the boil. It's 
my kitchen smells so good. It's also very hot and steamy in here. So if you want to warm up your house without turning on the furnace, canning is the way to go. Make some jelly. Alright, I think we're there. So, I have my timer with me. And it's set to one minute, so I'm going to go ahead and start it. And I'm going to stir it for the whole minute here. Now tomorrow I'm going to try to get to that cherry jelly. And this weekend I plan on making and canning cranberry sauce. Well, cranberry jelly, I guess but whole cranberry jelly. Um, I mean, you could, um, you could uh, use a blender and blend it smooth, but I really love my cranberry uh, jelly chunky. So I'm gonna make a big batch and I'm going to can it up. And I am excited because I just bugged Noreen about her canning recipe where she used an immersion blender and blended hers down and she likes hers chunky like me so <laughs> so I'm gonna leave mine chunky all right this is it so I'm gonna turn this off and I just like to continue to stir it until it kind of comes down a little bit all right now I'm gonna get this over to my counter and uh, we're gonna get to canning this up. All right, guys, so we're all set up here. I don't know if I wanna zoom you away, but there we go. I had a question about my canner. Um, once I sterilize the jars, what do I do with it? Um, I keep them in a rolling boil until I'm ready to use them, and then I turn the heat down on low, take the lid off carefully, and then I just let them sit in there and simmer. I will reload all my jars back in full of jam, and then I go ahead and bring the heat back up, cover it, and wait for it to come back to a boil. So I don't leave it bubbling and boiling as I'm unloading and loading jars just because I don't want to hurt myself, um, but that's what I do. So there's the answer to that for those of you that wondered. And there is our jam. So I'm going to aim you right down here, and I might lower you. I'm going to lower you here so you can see a little better. There we go. I just think that you can always see the jars being loaded a little better when you're down lower here. All right, so remember to sterilize your scoop and your um, funnel so those are ready to go. And let's get some jars out now i'm gonna try to start with my husband's special jars because he's been wanting this jam now for oh about a year <laughs> i can't believe nina's already three months old it's crazy hopefully you can see that okay. I'm going to go ahead and put my funnel on. Mason is playing Hot Wheels in the background. If you hear a lot of clunking, that's what that is. And we're going to fill this to a quarter inch head space. One and these will be his special jars. They're a little bigger and fancier. So he'll feel like I made them just for him. <laughs> Alright, now I want to go ahead and pull out one regular jar here. my funnel on it. All right, can you guys see that? All right, so I've got my vinegar. 
Just going to dip a napkin in it. Wipe the rim. And I have, you're going to go to bed? Yeah. Are you tired? Yeah. You are? Yeah, huh. You are? Yes, Mom. Okay. All right, we're going to put a lid. And ring. And be careful because all this stuff is hot. Okay. All right, I'll get you a snack. And there we have it. Isn't that beautiful? Woohoo! Oh, I got a piece of tissue on it. All right. Let me load this into the canner here. Mom, look. Look. And. Mom, look. Let me get this one on. Hotty totty. Finger tip tight. And there's mat jar number two. <laughs> you will be so happy. He's been coming home every night asking me, have you made that pineapple jam yet? No. Not yet. No egg. Not yet. No egg. No egg. All right. So let's get this one filled. Trying to do this with the camera is always such a pain. <laughs> it's always trying to get it so that you guys can see what I'm doing. Hopefully you guys can see that. So I'm going to get a lid. And I'm going on. Actually, no, I'm not. That's why it helps when you can not to be distracted. <laughs> it is like the worst time of the day to probably be canning right now, which is when... All the kids are coming home from school, and Mason is super excited, and um, no. it's just super busy. So no, there Mom. is another no. one. So I'm going to go ahead and jar these up, and bring you back when I have them all in the canner so this isn't another 40 minute video for you guys oh, come on come on get on there all right and there we have it it smells so good <laughs> all right guys I'm gonna get these canned up and I will bring you back I want to have my canner filled all right guys so my jars are in the canner I'm I've turned it back on high I'm going to go ahead and bring this to a rolling boil and once it does that I will process these for five minutes bring them out of the canner and they will be good to go I scooped out the extra that I had um, I wasn't quite able to get a half pint so I just put it in a little um, a little dish for the kids to eat and snack on and make peanut butter and jelly or whatever on uh, when they get home from school. Um, Noreen got nine, I got eight, but then again, I went ahead and used those larger jars for Matt. So, <laughs> so it ends up being the same, but um, if you use half pints, uh, little jelly jars, um, you will get uh, nine half pints out of this. So, all right guys, I will bring, bring you back when I bring my jars out of the canner. All right, guys, there's my timer. I'm go ahead and shut it off. And remove my lid. I'm going to shut this off first. Move it away from your face. You do not want to get hit with that steam. And I'm 
we're going to remove the jars here. Now I'm putting them on a towel on a cookie sheet uh, because, as you see, I never moved my knives or anything today. And um, I need to get dinner going here, so I'm going to have to move these jars over to the other side of the kitchen. Uh, can somebody give Mina her binky, please? Zach, Zach, or Mimi, or Eric? There we have it. We'll get you off the tripod here. So you can have a look at how pretty they are. They're perfect. And Matt is going to be so happy when he gets home. <laughs> so, oh, and they're already starting to pop. So I'm going to take them over the other side of the kitchen. I'm just going to move you guys. Look at my mess. And hi, Miss Mina. Hi, baby girl. You're so good. All right, so over here, got my chicken in the crock pot. Got some juices here. Scoop back. Kids' chips. Oh. All right. Yep, these are all popping. So I'm going to put those there. Oh, are you okay? Oh, coffee cup. Okay. Yeah. Mom's going to hold you in one minute, maybe. Okay. Now I'm going to grab, let's see if I have one. Oh, I might not have a big one. All right. I'm just going to grab some old rags here and I am going to I don't even know if you guys can see this are you guys seeing this? yeah <laughs> I'm going to lay two of them actually I'm going to drape one on this half here and one on this half that way we don't get a chill and they can come up to room temperature nicely and that is it. So um, I've purposely, I've got to redo my canning shelf. I think we're going to move it into Matt's office. So that's why I haven't put my peach apple jelly or my habanero apricot jelly away yet. Uh, because we might be removing everything off of that rack and uh, putting it in the office. So until we decide what we're going to do, it's just kind of camping out here. Um, I gave one jar to my sister. One jar is in my fridge, and it is good. I had it with a bagel and cream cheese. And Mina is ready to get out of this little rocker. So with that, I'm ending this canning session, and I will be back hopefully tomorrow with the cherry. <laughs> Fingers crossed for me. 